Welcome back everyone. Today we're going to talk about setting up additional network profiles in Linux. Um, so I'm in the network properties right now. This is the network properties uh, menu in uh, Linux Mint Cinnamon Edition. Um, it, other types of uh, other versions of Linux have their own network manager, but they all basically look the same. Uh, you should, whenever you open up um, your network manager, now you should see this add profile button and this is um, there's usually a settings menu um, to be able to adjust the settings of that particular network adapter so here i have a wi-fi adapter uh, that's off i have a wired connection um, and if we go into settings um, so i'm clicking the the little uh, configuration button go into settings if we go to ip version 4 because i have an ip version 4 network you can see that the main address um, IP version 4 is enabled, and the main address is um, being uh, acquired through DHCP. So it, this system uh, from the wired connection automatically receives an IP address from some DHCP server, in this case the gateway. Um, and then we also have a DNS that's configured, so it's on, and I have two servers set. These are the servers for Open DNS, which is a public DNS service. Um, and then uh, routes, we don't have any routes set or anything like that. Okay, so what I'm going to show you today is basically um, how to set up a profile. It's very easy to do. And we are going to just switch the DNS servers. Okay, so imagine that if I select one profile, I will use Open DNS. If I select another profile, then I will use, uh, I think we're going to use Google's DNS servers. Okay, so my default profile, my default profile already has the Open DNS servers. Um, selected so that's okay so then next click on add profile and then we have a couple different options if you need to set up security for your network if you want to set up an identity so I'll say uh, Google Google DNS okay uh, Mac address if we need to spoof a Mac uh, clone a Mac address and then go to IP version 4 and this is really what we want to change so um, on some um, Sometimes I don't use automatic DHCP, so I want to actually manually set an IP address. So instead of choosing DHCP, I can select manual, and then I can actually put the IP address here. And whenever I switch to this profile, then it will use the manually set IP address. Okay. Um, uh, I use it on some of our internal networks that have restrictions based on MAC address and things like that to be able to switch between different networks very easily. Or for example, if you use um, one statically set IP address at your work, one statically set IP address at home, um, then this is a really handy feature to have um, if you want to actually pre-program both of them into your system. Uh, for now, I'm just going to leave this on um, uh, automatic or DHCP. And while we're here, I'll just throw in a quick... Um, uh, uh, recommendation, I guess. Um, setting um, your network connector to shared to other computers in Linux Mint. Um, this automatically configures one of your ports to be able to share um, the network, but also the internet connection with other computers um, uh, connected to that port. So I usually have, for example, a Raspberry Pi, and I use a crossover cable to, in this case, my laptop. Um, and then I share uh, the wired connection on my laptop with the Raspberry Pi. Um, basically runs a, a, a DHCP server on my laptop. The Raspberry Pi gets an IP address and then it can use the internet um, through my laptop. It's very, very convenient. So I really use this um, shared with other computers uh, feature a lot. Um, so we might set up a profile for that. But right now I'm just going to set up um, automatic DHCP just like before. So. I'm still going to receive, the computer is still going to receive a IP address from the DHCP server, in this case the gateway, and I want to change the DNS servers. Okay, So we are going to use Google's DNS servers, so I'm going to add 8.8.8.8, .8 .8, which is one of the first ones, and then 8.8. what was it, 4.4? 4.4. Okay, so these are two of the Google's public DNS servers, and I'm not going to set any routes here. Okay. Um, I'm not going to touch IP6, but we could also configure an IP6 network and have different profiles for those networks as well, which would also be handy in some situations. Click Add. Um, and then here we have Google DNS and then Wired Connection 1. Um, I could go in and rename this to Open DNS, um, but uh, 
just for the sake of this, I'm not going to um, uh, change the name. So um, if we want to select the profile, we can just select it. And now we've actually switched to the Google DNS profile. So I have uh, here the same address. Okay, let's see. Network just disconnected. So now it's connecting back. Okay, so I get the same IP address because the router sees the same MAC address and um, everything basically gets reconfigured automatically, but it's now using uh, different um, uh, DNS addresses. So I'm just showing you DNS, which is only moderately useful, but you can completely change all of the network settings and keep them in these profiles. And the profiles are very handy um, for lots of different situations, like I said, especially if you're working with a lot of different um, uh, systems through your device. So I just thought I'd say that. Um, that's it for today. Thank you very much. If you like this video, please subscribe for more.